Hello friends, welcome to Intellect Medicos, learning made easy. If you haven't subscribed till yet, do subscribe our channel to get the updates about the new videos. Let's start. As you all know, potassium is one of the most abundant cation in the body and it is critical for many cell functions. Total body potassium is around 50 milliequivalents per kg of body weight. 98% of potassium in the body is located within the cells. High intracellular potassium is required for many cell functions including cell growth, division and volume regulation. Only 2% of the total body potassium is located in the extracellular fluid where its normal concentration is around 3.5 to 5.5 milliequivalents per liter. Now discussing about hyperkalemia when potassium is more than 5.5 milliequivalents per liter. Signs and symptoms of hyperkalemia. You can remember these by a mnemonic murder. Remember this by if you can't see signs and symptoms of hyperkalemia that is like a murder. So guys whenever you make a mnemonic do make an image or a story of that mnemonic. When you do so you retain things and facts for longer time. Now coming on to mnemonic M stands for muscle weakness, U for urine can be oliguria or anuria, R for respiratory distress, D for decreased cardiac contractility, E for ECG changes, R for reflexes can be hyperreflexia or areflexia. Let's see the ECG changes in hyperkalemia. When the serum potassium level is around 5.5 to 6.5 milliequivalents per liter, that is mild hyperkalemia, there can be peak T waves and prolonged PR segment, as you can see in the ECG appearance. When the level is around 6.5 to 8 milliequivalents per liter or moderate hyperkalemia, there can be loss of P wave, prolonged QRS complex, ST segment elevation, ectopic beats and ascaric rhythms. And when the level is more than 8 milliequivalents per liter, that is uh, severe hyperkalemia, then there occurs progressive widening of QRS complex, sine wave pattern, ventricular fibrillation, asystole, axis deviation, bundle branch blocks or fascicular blocks. Coming on to causes of hyperkalemia. This is by a mnemonic machine. Remember as machine which calculates potassium has calculated as increased potassium. Where M stands for medication that can be ACE inhibitors or NSAIDs. A stands for acidosis that can be metabolic or respiratory. This is the most frequently asked question in uh, medical entrance examination. So how to remember this? Keep this diagram in mind. Where Potassium in alkalosis or K in alkalosis kicks up pH whereas D in acidosis slides the pH down. I hope now it will be easy to remember. C stands for cellular destruction can be due to burns, traumatic injury, H for hypoaldosteronism or hemolysis, I for excessive intake of potassium, N for nephrons that is in renal failure, E for excretion is impaired. Now the treatment, remember by a mnemonic, see big K die. If you see a big K, the patient could die. So by C, calcium gluconate, it stabilizes cardiac membrane. B for beta 2 agonist or bicarbonate, they both shift potassium into the cells. IG stands for insulin plus glucose, where insulin shifts potassium into the cells and glucose to avoid hyperglycemia. K for K exhalate. It binds potassium in the gut, excreted in the feces, lowering total body potassium stores. DI for diuretics, that is Lasix or dialysis, if refractory to all other treatment options. Now this is how ECG in hyperkalemia looks like. Slightly peaked P wave, slightly prolonged PI interval, ST segment can be depressed and prolonged, depressed T wave and there can be a prominent U wave. Now hypokalemia causes. Remember this by a mnemonic bad load as decreased potassium is very bad and while uh, pronouncing load you uh, pronounce as a low. So th this is for hypokalemia. B for barter or corn syndrome. It can be in hyperaldosteronism. A for alkalosis. D for drugs. L for laxative abuse. O for insulin overdose. A for acute glucose load. D for diarrhea. Now let's learn drugs causing hyperkalemia. Friends, this is also the most frequently asked question in medical entrance examination. Remember this by a mnemonic, bad fit. B for beta 2 agonist, A for amphotericin B, D for digoxin, F for uh, furosemide or phoscarnate, I for insulin, T for thiazide. 
Now the treatment for hyperkalemia. As this name has kalemia, remember this as kala dhan or black money. And who has the treatment for gala, kala dhan? That is Mr. Modi. So do remember this with a mnemonic Modi. M stands for correct hypomagnesemia if present. O for oral potassium supplement. D for dietary supplements. I for IV potassium chloride. Guys, if you like the content and information, do like, share and subscribe our channel and do let me know in the comment box what is the next topic you want me to discuss. Thank you.